and listening back to your version of Redneck Yacht Club, uh, there was a verse in there that I remember that that Craig Morgan ended up changing. Did they ask you when they changed, or not the verse, but just a part in it? Right. Did they ask you, or did they just change the word? No, no, that actually was my publisher that that told us, you got to change that. Because the line was like, you know, like uh, uh, about it, that's Bob with the hairy back. <laughs> Instead of, that's Bob, he's the president. Yeah. So my publisher said, you got to take out that hairy back line because nobody will cut that. So we we changed it before we pitched it to him. Ah, okay. So he never heard the alternate version. But I always do the alternate version just because that's, you know, that's kind of like the that's insider with, songwriter that's, version. That's Bob with a hairy back is probably more conducive <laughs> to what would happen at the Redneck Yacht Club, right? This is true. This is true. But, you know, but hey, publishers are right a lot of the time. I remember when the record came out. Uh, my friend, my co-writer Steve got it, and he goes, "Oh man, we're track eight on the album. Track eight is never the single, <laughs> right? It's usually like track one, two, or three, or four. But uh, they ended up putting it out, and it just, uh, just people loved it instantly. And that's still one of Craig Morgan's. That's one of his signature songs. It is. If you if they mention Craig's name, they usually mention Redneck Yacht Club. So when you do a show and you do, is it hard? Because you don't want to say, "Hey, I wrote this song." You don't, but you also don't want to just skip by it and just do the song and not say. I would think that would be. I've been to right. a, I've been to a David Lee Murphy concert before where he did not say, "I wrote these songs," but it was like he was a cover band because he's went to Nashville, right. really quit playing out on the road and just started writing songs. But he wrote a bunch of hits for other people. Uh, but you got to say, "I wrote this song." I always try to work it into the intro. You know, I you like, well, you know, what kind of be going, you know. And I'll kind of talk over, you know, this, I wrote this song with my friend Steve Williams. I remember the day he came over to my house and he was telling me the story about, you know, you know, being out on his, his pontoon boat and it crapping out on him just past the no wake zone and looking back at the marina and saying, wow, you know, from far away, our marina looks pretty nice. From far away, you might mistake it for a yacht club or something. Nice. But, I see that. You I know, but. Said, but you get a closer look and you find out pretty quick it's more of a redneck out club. When you hear that song come on the radio, do you get just as much excitement as if that were you that you were, that's the song that you recorded in the studio? Oh yeah, a hundred percent. And you're like, ching. It's it's weird. It's uh, it's almost like you know people say like they can recognize the sound of their their own kid crying or whatever in yeah. a crowd. They can pick out their kid. It's the same thing. I could be somewhere even if there's a radio playing softly in the background. I'll go wrote that one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, cause it's like, it's, you're so tuned to it, I guess. Cause you're so familiar with the song. And then the friendship you struck up here with a lot of the different artists in our scene. And obviously oh, yeah. you, and, you and Kevin Fowler, uh, I remember way back when this whole ball game started and y'all became close fr friends and those songs just started flowing out from the both of you. Yeah. It changed meeting Kevin changed my life. Really? You know, we got for the, up. the for the better. For the better, I think for the better. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm Nashville's kidding, Nashville's a tough town. Yeah. You know, it's just very competitive, and uh, um, the Texas music scene I just love, and it's 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 great. When I started writing with Kevin and coming down here, I just fell in love with not only the music scene but the state of Texas and living here. And I thought, man, I never thought I would leave Nashville, but I think I'm leaving Nashville, and uh, it's been great. We just love it. Just everything about living here and there's just so much great music and you know the camaraderie here in the scenes is a little bit i've ne i've been in nashville and kind of stayed there for a while and it's i mean every scene is cutthroat don't yeah, I, right. I, won't, I won't try to kid anybody on that one but the scene here is i i try to tell everybody it's kind of a click it's like a little fraternity sorority yeah. but, but once you're in everyone takes care of each other here. it's true it's true it's a great it is a great community Hanging out, Tom Shepard, live in our Coke FM Bud Light Studios and live on Coke TV. Play us another song. I, I won't send out my requests. Okay. <laughs> well, you want to hear another new one? Sure. You want to hear the Jeep song? Let's hear the Jeep I'll song. Do that one. I was in Pensacola doing a doing a show, and uh, the guy opening was a guy named Harold Booth, and he's a guy that's you know been around Nashville for years as a songwriter. He's an older guy, and he played me a little piece of this. I was like, wow. That's great. What is that? He's like, oh, just a little thing I'm working on. You want to help me write it? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so. Looks like a good day to take the doors off the Jeep. Take my hand, we'll take a leap. 
Follow our dreams all the way down to the keys. Point it south, there ain't no doubt gonna be happy hour from here on out. The two for one sounds just about right to me. Apalachicola down to Tampa Bay. Half shell lunch is all along the way. With a good cold beer and crackers on the side. If the sand's too hot and it burns your feet, a cold bushwhacker really beats the heat. Then we'll jump back in that rack top and ride. It looks like a good day to take the doors off the Jeep. Take my hand, girl, we'll take a leap. Follow our dreams all the way down to the Keys. Key Lime Pine, Alabama Jacks. Trade your watch for a baseball cap. Hell, we might even make it all the way to Duval Street. There ain't no plan and there ain't no rush. We can find a little motel by the Gulf. Remember why we're lovers and best friends. I'll tickle your fancy, you tickle mine. We'll sing Paradise by old John Prine. We'll find the heavenly side of original sin. Destination nowhere. We'll know it when we get there Looks like a good day to take the doors off the Jeep Come on, girl, let's take a leap And follow our dreams all the way down to the Keys Point it south, there ain't no doubt Gonna be happy hour from here on out Two for one sounds just about right to me. Yeah, two for one sounds just about right to me. Tom Shepard. Yes. Hey. The crowd goes wild. Yeah, thank you. That's a good song. Yeah.